Let's do it. Welcome, 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 welcome to the RIP 28 podcast. This is the RIP 28 podcast. It's a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like, but we keep on talking about them on the RIP 28 podcast. I am the man who has been voted on by 11 out of 13 members of... (laughs) <laughs> the blue and white sorority as the best podcast host in America. I am Slotter Sports Guy, joined by a few of my okay. friends. As always, we start off with the president. What's going on, El President Tate? <laughs> Hey, you know it's a lot of slot can't can't even get it out. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot the name of it. That's all. <laughs> hey, but people, but you know, see Nas, see Nas in the building as always, man. Let's get it going. Holla. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. And we got your favorite coach's favorite coach, the one and only BZ Pick. I think you meant what Pick it. Do- yeah, I think it. Pinky. Pinky. Well, what I might have been. <laughs> Let me change it. You got that Let's Wilson Pinky. That's that pregame podcast. What's going on, there, there you go, T. There you go. Take this out. Oh oh my go, God. Man. <laughs> hey, hey, can, can, can he introduce himself, please? Thank you. You oh finished, Chance? <laughs> It's your boy Beasy the Goat, the only winning coach on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till basketball season. <laughs> hey, gonna win then too, but right now, we can only speak for now. All right. Seven and right. two. All <laughs> right. In the uh in the bottom corner, in the bottom corner, we got our, our permanent, our permanent co-hosts. Permanent coach, <laughs> the richest person we know, multi <laughs> multi hundred thousand air, <laughs> one and only S dot commas. How you doing, S dot commas? What's up, good people? How y'all be? I'm very happy to be here. Hey man, <laughs> hey man. People always <laughs> ask me, man. They say, man, is Cobb really rich like that, man? Is she nope. really rich? And I say, I say, you know how Cobb, how I know Cobb is rich. Cobb hadn't jiggled the handle on the gas tank in 15 years. <laughs> she don't even jiggle the handle on the gas tank when she get finished pumping gas, dog. That's because she don't pump her all in. Come on, Massachusetts. Come on, now. Oh, my God. She don't look at gas prices, either. She don't even mm. look at gas. That's money. Money. Mm. Well, check this out. You got to get it. You gotta y'all get it. Y'all have been wondering if y'all have been wondering why Chance has been showing out, been a little bit more vocal so far in these openings. You know, ready to c- cut back at people because he got some backup on the show today. He got some backup. Do. He had yeah. his better half straight out of Memphis, straight out of Orange Mound or what? No, nah, maybe not Orange Mound. The other side of Memphis. She ain't from Orange <laughs> Mound. She she from one of them places where they cut you. The one and only. <laughs> What up, good people? <laughs> hey, T Nez, hey. how you doing, T? T Nez in the building. Hey, hey, we can't, we can't wait to cut you, Sly. <laughs> that's why I stay. That's why I stay away from the north side. I'm a little. Oh, you, you got a lot of fat to cut over that, boy. <laughs> uh, we gonna get Words to it right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Haters, haters, that, haters, man. That yeah. fat meat, that okay. fat meat greasy too. <laughs> hey, hey, it's gonna be hard to get slapped back. That, that back too big. I can't, I can't have his back. We need, we need me, you and you. Got to cut that off. Oh, this is why we don't, uh, we don't let haters talk. But anyway, anyway, everybody's here. We are here. We're live, live on the Rip Twenty Eight podcast, man. You know a lot going on out in the world today, but. You know, out in the world, we, as always, man, we got to shout out to our biggest market out there, our people out in Pakistan. You know, we got a loyal, loyal 
group of followers in Pakistan checking us out. Shout out to the Pakistanis. All both of y'all. What up? <laughs> Whatever. They know all both of us. We got it. Right? All both of them. We got a chunk of people out there in Pakistan <laughs> rocking with the Rip Two Day podcast. I don't know if you, I don't know what well, the two is correct. We are the second rated urban podcast in Pakistan. We do it big out there, man. Cause it's so easy. We so easy to follow. We so easy to find, man. Bro, bro, how can they get us, man? They won't get in touch with us, bro. How can they get in touch with us? They can get us on YouTube. They can get us on Facebook. Uh, what was formerly known as Twitter. You can get Anchor. You got uh, you got uh, Podbean, Podbay, uh, Spotify. Man, you any way you can stream a podcast, you can get the Rip Twenty Eight podcast, the world's greatest. And they're right, T. That's where they can catch us, man. They can. Hey, catch I, us. I, I did get a message that said, you know, that told me the reason why we so big in Pakistan is because uh, they said Sly look like they the god that they worship Buddha. <laughs> that little truck, that, that little, that little uh, statue. <laughs> they were like, Sly looks just like that guy. Well, he rub his belly. Here's something. They, got, they, sign, they rub on it. Here, here's something, you know, quick telltale signs to let you know that a joke isn't working. If you got to sit here and try to explain it, that means it's really working. Let's go back playing. to the drawing board on that yep. joke, Mr. Hey, Funny Man. Everybody Mr. knew what I was talking about. Mr. Funny Man, let's go back to the drawing board. Oh, but you know, I'm glad we do have Grandma a married, what I'm, about. I'm glad we do have a married couple on because even though I talk trash about Chance, uh, we all appreciate what what Tanisha has done for Chance and the way she keeps <laughs> our boy upright and supports him and just keeps him together and keeps him, you know, being a better man. And that's one of the things you want out of a wife. You know, you want your wife to support you. And you also don't want your wife to publicly kick you in the nuts every time she gets a chance. <laughs> kind of similar to Jada Pickett. <laughs> Jada Pickett and Will Smith, man. You see what's going on with Jada. Jada's I was like, where the hell is this going? Hey, hey, I am the master of transitions. But you see how I <laughs> rule that in there? We, we, let, you that we hey, let you get hey, that one through. We let you get that one through today. Hey, you, you got to give it up. Oh, that was a good transition on that one. That was a good one. Thank, thank you. Thank that actually, you. that actually was pretty good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Broadcasting school is paying off. Podcasting school is paying off. But anyway, anyway, man. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Uh, CCI? Ain't it? <laughs> CCI that's the correct. That's, that's the correct. That's the correct. That's the, isn't that the commercial with the people like I went to? So, CPI. Oh, oh, that too. Some yeah. correspondence courses. That's okay. what it is. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> once again, y'all ruined my great transition. I had a great transition, <laughs> and now y'all came and ruined it. God. Man. That's Come what on. we do. Good. That's Come three on, weeks man. in a row. But yeah, man, but speaking of... keep the street going. Jada and Will, man. Jada is selling a book. She is selling a book, and Anytime Jada wants to sell something or promote something, I guess she figures the best way to do it is to kick Will Smith in the balls. And so <laughs> he took one in the balls again. She's releasing some stuff, you know, saying she never really wanted to be married. Uh, she also says Tupac proposed to her while she was in jail. I'm pretty sure Jada figured she probably got a Tupac tattoo somewhere on her body. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure. Might be on the lower back. Especially in the <laughs> last seven years. Yeah. Man, you know, um what 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 do y'all think about this Jada situation, man? What do y'all think about Jada and Will? She I, needs to take I, us out the group chat. Huh? She needs to take us out the group chat. We don't want to be in a group chat. We don't we care. Tired of, we don't we tired. <laughs> in the we words of Mike care. Tomlin, we do not care. <laughs> out the group chat. Like, just trying to, um, they try to be relevant, stay relevant. It's, take us out the group chat, remove us. <laughs> I'm with you on that, T. Don't nobody care, man. We we we've heard and saw enough from all of them for a lifetime, dog. Let them let them go on, be happy, do whatever they're gonna do. And like T said, take us out the group chat. But I'm coming alive, though. 
Like, look at little yeah. August Alcina. He was a he was a boss. And then she came in with the situation ship. What was it? The entanglement. Entanglement. That's what it was. Entanglement. Yeah. And then we ain't heard nothing else from the little baby. They probably committed him. No, when he, they was in a committed he, relationship. And he locked up. I think he locked up. No, he ain't locked no, up. No, he, he, like, he don't like he women. He's gay now. He, he he's he's a homo. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. I mean, he's a homosexual. Seriously. I'm seriously. He's a homosexual now. Yeah, he is. I'm being serious. He came out. Uh, I forgot. Slide you in that same group chat with him. Oh, wait a Wait a minute. <laughs> what are we doing? I thought she said we were going to take everybody out. She is coming out smoking. Oh, want to be out of Jada Pinky. It's the weekend after Friday at 13. Yeah. Like, like, Hey man. I just want to be out of her group chat. He said the slides in the one with August Alcina. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's how he knew that. Oh, he, he did roll it off his tongue, though. Hey, hey, let's, let's regroup. Let's regroup. Let's what regroup. Trips, okay, so what trips me out about this, though, is that people really act like they are invested in this. Like, there are people writing think pieces about the whole situation and what they're doing. I just don't care enough about rich people's problems to be no. that concerned about it. Did you say rich mm. people? You right up there with them, buddy. Those are your people, though. Those mm. are your kind. No, I definitely ain't in their tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> man. Man, but, you thankful. But my thing is, though, man, it's like, how do you live your life like that in public? I understand what happened to the days of celebrities being, you know, unheard of. You don't know what's going on in celebrity life. Like, we all love Sade. Nobody knows not a goddamn thing about Sade. Nobody knows nothing about her. You know, she'll come and drop an album every six, seven years and go back in the hide and, and still come back, just still beautiful and life goes on and she's still rich. You know, I think that's how celebrities should be, man. Even Denzel, man. Denzel, one of the biggest stars, period. What do you really know about Denzel? You don't know nothing about Denzel. Good point. Mm -hmm. Good point. You know, why do, why do you need all of that extra? Why you need everybody in your business like that? I, I, I don't know. I, I can never figure out why are you so thirsty for, for notoriety when you when you already a star? You already big. Well, like you, like you said earlier, you know, I think they, she's searching for relevancy. You know what I mean? Like, she ain't getting a rose like she used to. I mean, this, and then if we, we got to be honest. How many movies was Jada Pinkett in? Really? I mean, mm -hmm. more than, was it more than 10? You think it was, she was in more than 10 movies? <laughs> yeah, she was in more than 10. She was in more than 10. I, I definitely think it's more than 10. Here's the, here's the thing, though. I don't have, I don't take any issue with her writing a book and telling her story, because that's what people who are of a certain stature write books about themselves. Kerry Washington was just on a promotional tour because she wrote a book telling her story. I think that's what some people do. They, they write books and they absolutely get to tell their truth. I, I feel like where people take exception with Jada is that you are, as it comes across, you are emasculating this man with the things that you are sharing and the things that you are saying. And let's be real, Will Smith to the Black community is, at one point, he was who we held up and said, this is our guy. You know, he was Mr. Summertime because every <laughs> movie that he did in the summer was a blockbuster, made lots yep. of money. And so people people still uphold him, even without knowing who he is personally. And they just like, you can't keep doing our Will Smith like this. At least that's how it appears to come across when I, when I see certain people talk about the situation. Mm -hmm. You show you're right. You are right about that, man. It just... Oh, I, it just feels like every time she opens her mouth, she just said, <laughs> let me figure out a way to keep this motherfucker in the balls. And you ain't lying, dog. You ain't heard nothing positive come out of our mouth about Will. Then the crazy thing was, I was surprised when he called me his wife. <laughs> How you surprised? Because they have been separated yeah, since 2016. It. But see, here's the thing. Do you, do you believe that? Right, but nobody, nobody it, it, let's, let's say they did, but who knew that? Once again, you living your life out in public. That ain't cool. I mean, I, slide, I it, tracks, it tracks with the entanglement that they were separated. 
I don't even believe they were separated, man. I'm, I'm to the point now where I find it just hard to believe anything Jada says. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> but you knew, you know, at at that time they were saying that they was swingers. Uh, they had an open relationship and all this kind yeah. of stuff uh, all through that time. So it kind of, like you say, kind of match up. But who knows? It don't seem like separated and open is the same thing, but. Now, now we know, I guess. Yeah. She's just embarrassing. She's just embarrassing. She ruining lives. <laughs> and she's just embarrassing. And like then, her and her slick bald head need to go sit down somewhere. Hey, and then she didn't bald head scattered well. Got in the bed. But why, why she threw Chris Rock under the bus? Like, what was she Chris did. Rock doing to you? <laughs> she she said that the man didn't watch out the house. The man had already got slapped on in that, at, at the one of the biggest <laughs> celebrations ever in front and of all white people. Him under the bus, yeah, in front of all this contemporary, and you throw him under the bus. Time out, he tried to holler and he apologized. Mm-hmm. So what, what's the story here? Uh, I want to be relevant, and I can't. That's the story. Yeah, she got that. What you say? That slick ball head. <laughs> slick ball. Yes, yeah, she, she kind of like. You gotta, you gotta include people in your story who are gonna make people want to buy your story. That's so true too. if if for whatever reason you aren't the main draw, then you gotta talk about Tupac because black folk love Tupac. Some folks think he's still walking around, and you gotta talk about Chris Rock. You gotta pull people in who are gonna make people want to read your story if you aren't going to sell it on your own. I don't even want to read the cliff notes. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way. I don't think I want to know. Nobody Jada, cares. Nobody Jada really Pick cares. Smith. I don't want to know the Jada Pickett Smith story. I, I don't really want to, want to know that story. So yeah, you're right. You got to bring somebody in who will bring the crowd in. And mm-hmm. that's, you know, she, her story isn't interested enough by herself. So that's why she has to bring that in. And it and that it it hurts like like Shauna said, man. Will for a good little bit of for you know 10 summers in a row. It seemed like Will Smith ruled the summer blockbuster. It seemed like man. he had some some big hitters come out every summer. Yeah, on Will Smith. Every it was Mr. Fourth of July. Summer, summer, summer time. And now he is. He, he to be reduced to a laughing stock. He's a plug McDuck. He had a whole book and he ain't say nothing wrong about Jada. And then she's coming out with all this garbage. He's Mr. Plug I'm McDuck. Gonna t- I'm gonna tell you when I knew she had um when she had Will when he came on that red table talk. Come on, Will, what you doing? That's what that was after <laughs> come, on, August. come on, Will. <laughs> yes, yeah, major on, meme. Will. Oh, like the meme. <laughs> <laughs> But you yeah, want to we are could, want... we are couldn't have won in that situation by going on that show. What? <laughs> Looking like a Michael, a Michael Jordan meme. <laughs> somebody, you... somebody putting something in your wife, and you and you go on that show. Man, I told that lady, don't get out of my face. You threaten to get beat up. Now he was like, I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> I like nobody cares about that. Will I... well, you want to know what conspiracy? <laughs> Conspiracy theory thighs, a conspiracy theory slide wow. thinks about big this. Thigh. <laughs> you got big thighs now. <laughs> conspiracy theory slide thinks about this. I think Jada got something on Will. I think she got something on Will. I think Will might be into something freaky or perverted. He, he might like his booty hole tampered with or something. And she knows it, oh. probably has yeah. some proof of it. So he it's time to show go there. downhill. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> he got a stay. I mean, who cares? He did six degrees of separation, and he played, and he was a homosexual in that movie. Like he might have tendencies. Who cares? That, was that his first movie? <laughs> that he did that homosexual tendencies. Yeah, I, well, I, I do remember like somebody showed a video of him being gay on a show. It was like it was before he got famous. Mm-hmm. How long ago was that? You remember? That was right. That was one of his early. That was one of his early acting. Yeah, I saw that. Came out of the TV shows. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So hey, you know, as far as famous people in general, they do, they do a lot of things to get to where they at. We who who knows what they do to get famous. You know, there's a lot of talented people out there who 
don't make it because they don't they not they, gonna do what needed to do to get there. You know, there are reasons that there are stories about the casting couch. Mm-hmm. That's that stuff is real. That stuff is real. Like when you sell your soul to get to us get to this level, and a lot of people do it. It seems like so. Mm. It's it's not it's not far fetched that he did that. Or, or he, he had to have him something him. else on him. If if that's your conspiracy theory, you got to be something else. Because that right there is just like, okay, this twenty twenty three. Okay, maybe maybe he's maybe he's in the bestiality and she got pictures or something. I mean, say that one. <laughs> well, yeah, that ain't that ain't. Please, please let, hey, hey, please that let ain't, the record show I'm not asserting that. I'm just throwing out. Put this Wait, what you say, Brian? Put that this that video up. People done people done done that before too. What people? Talking about Will. What so people? I know, I know you're talking about Will, but I'm just saying, we talking about 2023. I ain't gonna call no names. I don't, I don't know those people. No, I don't either. I've seen it. <laughs> Done no, what? You've seen it? Done no, what? Not live, yeah. Shauna. Shauna, Shauna, <laughs> come on. On the Paul let him say it. Paul, <laughs> You, you said I've seen it, and I'm like, you've videos, seen it. videos on 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 the internet. You watch them? How is your algorithm set up, LeBron? Just keep digging that hole, bro. Get it, get out. Get out. It ain't digging no hole. You get out. Really, you have LeBron? What did you? What did you put in your first engine? You what? Brian, bro, you good, good, man. Come hey, on, bro. What, 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 we, what we got next? What yeah, we got next? Yeah, like this. What's next? Uh, I'm talking about the weather or something. <laughs> something. Not, the, not the videos the bro I'm watching, please. It's, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I feel but, yeah, but yeah, man, the whole J- Jada Wheel thing, man. Uh, you know, you wish the best for... Excuse me. Oh. I, I was... I was my bad. <laughs> Uh, That's so unprofessional. I, I'll take I'll take a hard stance. I was trying to I was trying to talk while you was doing that long ass yarn, <laughs> but I don't I don't fool with Jada Pinkett. Man. She she's not my favorite and never was and never will be. You been on different world, babe? Mm-mm. Nah. Different world like that because I be asking you about some uh episodes you don't even remember. Sometimes I be wondering. Well, you know Chance what? I never seen I, Color Purple. I ain't, oh, well, no. <laughs> I ain't really mad at him because by the time she came around on a different world, it wasn't the same to me. Like it was the first, final, it was like the final two seasons. seasons, the first three seasons, she came the final two seasons, something like that. Yeah, and I think the first two seasons, you know, the one with uh, Lisa Bonet was on it. That was that was a really good season and the sticky season. And then when the third season, when Dwayne and Whitley really got involved together, it turned the corner when Debbie Allen got involved. Cause she actually brought made in, it black. made it feel like an HBCU. You That's know, when it turned the corner. The funny thing, she said something. You know, they were doing some type of documentary or something on it, and she said something about the calf, about uh, you know, the calf, and she said she was walking through the set and she realized there wasn't no hot sauce on the table. She yep. said, "We got to change that." You know, it's the little details. That lets you know you <laughs> here at HBCU, man. And I, I appreciate Debbie Allen, the wife oh, sure. of Norm Nixon. Uh, speaking of Norm Nixon, you know they canceled that show, Winning Time. Did y'all like Winning Time? Yeah, man, I liked it. I'm behind on this season. I thought it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I, I enjoyed it. I really Dude, did. Look just like Magic too, dog. <laughs> yeah. But you know, the, the, the real life people hated it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Jerry <laughs> Wilson wasn't a fan of it. Pat Riley wasn't a fan of it. Magic wasn't a fan of it. <laughs> oh, I ain't know Magic wasn't a fan of it. Really? Did you did you know that Norm Nixon Jr. played Norm Nixon yep. in the series? Yep. That's yeah. his son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know if y'all knew, but uh, Jerry West's son played at the high school that I coached at. You know, and yep. uh, he coached one of our practices before, and uh, you know he used to be around all the time, so we talked and everything. He was, I'm sure, you know, in a different setting, he probably can get intense or whatever, but he was nowhere near like the person they portrayed him to be in that movie. I was like, I was like, yeah, they they really put it on him. Well, you got to think, though, by the time time you met him, he was in his 70s, 
and his son was going to a fifty thousand dollar year school. So you know, but but he was still the, he was the general manager of the Grizzlies. Yeah. So he was he was still in that business. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I don't think he was like that. I, I mean, I'm sure he, like I said, he get intense. I'm sure, but the way they the way they made him look was like he that man was a wild man. Yeah, I mean, sorted sorted sex life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, yeah, man, that was that. Yeah, winter time. Winter time was a good one, man. I, I'm I'm kind of pissed they they canceled it, but you know that's the way of the world with TVs and stuff like that, man. I know we not we not really talking about this, but another uh, a show I just watched, a movie I just watched. Y'all need to watch is uh the burial with Jamie Fox. Oh, uh, I heard it was good. Hey, Jamie Fox may be the greatest living actor. He, he he's in the top 10. He's in the top 10 of, of greatest living actors right now. I, just pure I talent. So. Just I pure talent. talent, man, because he, Jamie can do some of everything, dog. Mm-hmm. And the thing <laughs> about Jamie is like, even though you put, you put Denzel, you know, Denzel is top five to me, but every role he plays, you know, is Denzel playing this role. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you, you see Denzel playing this role. With the exception but, of Malcolm X. I feel like he yeah. transformed himself into Malcolm I agree. X. I agree on that one. But when Jamie, Jamie played whatever character he is, you don't see Jamie. <laughs> you see whatever character that is, man. Ja- Jamie a bad boy. Jamie a bad yeah. boy, man. Hey, Cole, uh, me and Tanisha actually went to one of his concerts and I think he did he did a comedy show, and then mm-hmm. he went out, and then yeah. he went out and sang some songs or whatever. Like he he did it all. I was like, I was like, you can't beat this. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got your money. He got a two for one deal, boy. I'm gonna see the comedy, and I'm gonna see that good singing. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm glad. I'm glad that, that he's uh healthy. You know, I guess yeah. he had a stroke yeah. or something like that. Was wasn't quite sure exactly what happened. But I'm glad he's healthy. But if y'all <laughs> y'all do have some time, go and check out that movie, uh, The Burial. It's based off a true story about a uh, lawyer, Willie. I forgot his last name, but the lawyer name was Willie something. And and it's really good. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's we saw uh, Nikki had posted something about it. That's what made me made me. Is talk. it on Prime? Amazon Prime, Prime. or Netflix? Prime. Amazon Prime. Prime. It's on Prime. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. We, we ain't think Sly knew nothing else but Tubi. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Hey man. He looked like a, look like a Tubi. <laughs> y'all gonna stop tripping on Tubi, man. Tubi. 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 Now here's the thing. Pe- people talk trash about Tubi, but what Tubi does, mm-hmm. man, Tubi gives a lot of independent black oh. filmmakers a chance. They give a lot of these independent black filmmakers a chance. A and they- chance to insult our intelligence. Come on, Tubi. Come on. How, did, Come on. Tubi. Come on. how did these people have a baby and they got two white dogs that they hold in Tubi? What are you with a broom and you fall out two seconds later? What in the? Hey. Come on, Tubi. You got to start changing. Yeah, you got to start oh. some way. No, you, <laughs> got, you know that stuff take money to to make a movie. So I mean, mm-hmm. it's gonna be low budget stuff. You know, it's very low. Like low <laughs> is like a a nice word. <laughs> What's lower than low? But Tubi, but Tubi paying them people, they get paid. Sick. Their stuff gets on Tubi. I think Tubi cuts them a check for four hundred thousand dollars if if your stuff gets on Tubi. And now they don't spend. Well, no, no. Once the movie, maybe they'll made. use that. They'll use that for the next production. Yeah, because once once the movie's made, they'll send it in, and if Tubi accepts it or whatever, uh, they'll they'll give them a check for four hundred thousand dollars to play it on Tubi. And now, what happens? Those movies usually cost maybe twenty thousand dollars to make. You know, if that, that's a nice come up because because made a little yeah, with 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 uh with the telephones now you can make a whole movie on the iPhone. You can make a movie on the iPhone. <laughs> okay. Some of them look like that too. <laughs> but Tubi also has. I was looking around Tubi the other day. They also have Amen on there. They got a mm-hmm. lot of the throwback they got TV a lot shows. Throwback. They got a lot of throwbacks. Okay, I see. It's like it's like you speaking from experience. Huh? Well, you know, I was an amateur filmmaker myself. <laughs> 
don't do this. Please go to the next topic. Please, no, please, please don't do this in front of all these people. <laughs> but, but, but honestly, though, but honestly, I do. Oh. Have, I have a really good strip script. I'll tell y'all about off air. I have a really, really good script that I would love to make a movie out of, but. You know, I don't have I don't have the real actors. We're gonna we're gonna put that Rip 28, Rip 28 Productions. We're gonna have our first movie coming out next year sometime. Next year around this time. We gotta do it. We gotta have it in in the casting I saw couch, a, the casting counts <laughs> will be real. <laughs> I saw a clip the other day where the woman was taking the pregnancy test and they flashed to it and it was a COVID test. Y'all can't even go get some, oh some, some real pregnancy Oh my God. <laughs> it was I was like, hey, nobody call me that. You can go get a test they, on the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. They clown. They clown. Dollar Tree. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Was it positive or negative? What? I, I, Chance, I, did, I did not try to stay around the see Chance. It probably should have been positive. That means the whole case is infected. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody do it back. Hey, man. Y'all y'all going to get off of Tubi, man. Tubi. Tubi. Tubi has some, they have some hidden gems. It's some hidden gems on Tubi. Yeah, you gotta look, you gotta search though. You gotta search for them. Though. You gotta search. You, you gotta search. But yeah. I man. think you can look at you can look at the the preview and see how many pixels in the preview to determine whether or not it's gonna be worth your while watching. Like if it's super grainy, you probably want to go past that one. But if it's a clear picture and it's highly pixel, like it's it, you, yeah, you you can watch that one and it, the plot might be good, the acting might be legitimate. But shout it if it's super pixelated and you were like, oh, I can't mm -mm, go to the next one. <laughs> but but one thing one thing I enjoy about Tubi, I enjoy I think Tubi kind of gives everybody a chance. It gives everybody a chance to get out there to get your craft out there, and you know that's one of the huge things going on. And especially, you know, in our hometown back in Columbia, it's the idea of giving it's the idea of giving everybody a chance. Um, one of the issues going on, um, it's a cheerleading competition or a cheerleading issue. I mean, we don't we don't usually talk about cheerleading because it's not a real sport, but we oh, will no. talk about it to today. Um, it was a young lady on on one of the local cheerleading squads who was um, um, handicapped. Um, she was, she's in a wheelchair, the young lady's in a wheelchair. And, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm politically correct when I say this. Hey, you see what happened when we let him do a transition. Oh, <laughs> hey, but that was a smooth transition though. That was a smooth one that, come on. The, the, the first sentence was after that, <laughs> but anyway, anyway, the young lady, young lady was uh, in a wheelchair and they had a cheerleading competition coming up and was told that that the young lady had um uh the young lady she wouldn't be allowed to compete in the cheerleading competition because she was in a in a wheelchair and so now they made now they made um you know it was a big big fuss or a big to do over it so this young lady could could um could get in it now Stacy says she has brittle bones and ain't no damn brittle. That ain't real. <laughs> Wait a brittle minute. Bone ain't no Sly. real thing. Wait a minute, Sly. That girl that said this her cousin. You gonna tell her what? Oh, I ain't see that part. Don't do this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. It's a, it's a oh. see more. It's a, it's a, I mean, I it I'm looking at for it. Say see more. Uh. Uh, yeah, brittle. I did not know brittle, boy. I thought that that's not a All right, that doesn't boy. matter. And see, boom, <laughs> that's, proof. Talking about. that's proof. She just said, I don't know the technical term. So I knew brittle bone wasn't no technical term. I knew that. Anyway, was, that your was point like calling, is that was like calling a mentally undeveloped person the R word and it's wrong and you're not supposed to no, do it. No, no it's, that's not actually not the, that's actually that's actually not the same. That's okay. like saying right. Lou Gehrig's disease when okay. you can't pronounce the real thing. Yeah. We're so, not gonna talk no. about that. We're gonna talk about was it cool or is it cool for her to be on the team in a competition setting? No, that, that's what, that we, what, that's we're what we're talking about. about. <laughs> well, this this what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get out here. 
I'm a, oh, we got oh, so now we got two people on. We got we got Michelle came out here. Michelle says, and before we before we comment on what Michelle says, I'm gonna tell you what I think. Oh Lord. I'm not mad Hold at on. the views and opinions expressed by Sly do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of everyone on Rip 28. Okay, go ahead. These are these are Sylvester Williams, Sylvester O. Williams opinions right here. Oh, but South. if, West, if, South. To say, if they say did not want that young lady <laughs> to be in the competition, I totally get it and I totally understand. If she was allowed to cheer during the season and she was allowed to be, you know, a, a cheerleader, she should be allowed to be on the team. But when they go to the cheerleading competition, they're judged on their routine. They're judged on what, what they do in the routine. If she out there dragging a wheelchair around, you can't be Drag out there it. and do the same thing. <laughs> you can't do out they can't they can't toss her up in the air. Dragging wheelchair. It. She can't be the bottom of a pyramid if she in the she wheel. The base if they lock her wheel. She they can be can't the base. lock her wheel. Look here. Look here, them kids, those girls work just as hard. Those girls on that cheerleading squad work just as hard as anybody else, and they want to win the cheerleading competition just like everybody else. Why should they be held back? Why? Like, this is my it's, opinion. Huh? You know, the coach was creative enough to let the little baby be on the cheerleading team. She should have came up with a routine to incorporate that chair. That chair. That's exactly what I was going to say. She doesn't have to be a part of a pyramid, but they can incorporate her into the routine, Sylvester. I, hey, I will say this too. They can't toss her up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> she, don't, she don't need the legs for that. Like uh, they, they can get. They can wait a minute. Can we go to the can we go to the next <laughs> topic? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Michelle, I was like, they can Michelle just said, and all that stuff. She don't, she don't have to be able to walk with that. The next Michelle back said to the wheelchair. Can you get your husband. <laughs> Michelle said the wheelchair on the floor is considered a safety risk when studying, so that's what's causing the issue. I, I think. think if the cheer coach was creative enough, they can incorporate that chair because they put on the team. So it's high school, that right? Yeah, it was yeah high school. All right, they they teachers, and they get paid an extra stipend to coach. They ain't coaches that teach. So I mean, you you can't expect them to be the best coaches in the world. They just I they mean, just she entered them in the competition. She entered them in the competition, so she thought she was doing a little something, something. So she should have made that baby in there with that with that chair. Been around or I'm glad. I'm glad in our comments we got two people commenting, and I think they both have a really good background on it. We got Michelle because I know I know baby girl, her daughter is in on varsity. Varsity Leah Grace squad and Leah Leah in middle school and made the varsity. And we got Shannon. Shannon, I know Shannon. I see on her page she is a a dance mom. I know she do the. She was a cheerleader too. She was yeah, a cheerleader Shannon at the high. Yeah, Shannon and cheer with us. She's a cheerleader too, but I know she do the dance stuff too. Yeah, yeah. And, and so so that's my thing, man. I'm not I'm not trying to be hard on the girl in the wheelchair, but those other girls work hard too to get in a position to try to win a state championship. And this is this is the 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 thought, this is the thought process that I made. Somebody said that these kids won't remember this uh, championship or whatever 20 years down the road from now. And That's I don't believe true. that. I don't believe that. And I believe if they win the championship, if that team won the championship, they would remember that. And I look at it this way. LeBron, Chance, and myself were really, really, really good high school football players. We were good high school football players. But 20, but now if we go back to Columbia High, it is nothing saying that we left a real, real mark on that school, no matter how good a player we are. But let's look at the Columbia High girls basketball team. Well, I do got yeah. my picture up. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, well, we all got a well, picture can, up there. You can always jump on Facebook and start the discussion oh. and let the comments start rolling <laughs> in as y'all talk about how we good you were in high school. We but but here's, but, but but here's the thing. As the years go on, we don't talk about it as much, though. But here's right. the thing. Here's the thing. Not the us. girls' basketball team, Columbia High girls' basketball team, 
all those young women on that team, when they go back to that school, when they go back to Columbia High, they have a marker saying that we were state champions, that we were here. We did something and we were here. And that's the same thing that could go for that cheerleading squad. If that cheerleading squad won the state championship, 20 years from now, they can go back and they can, and they're at that school and they have <laughs> proof that we were here. But if they let the, the young handicapped girl participate in the championship, they're not going to win. They just, they can't win. They, they well, she, have she the did points. She didn't participate. I don't know what the I don't know what the outcome was, but she actually did participate. Oh, they lost. They lost. I I know what you're saying, Sly, but that that ain't that ain't necessarily true. They could win, like like you say, you got to be creative, and if she could do something off to the side or something like that, or or somewhere where she's spinning the wheelchair around and doing little tricks or whatever, but. You might get more points just because you're using somebody with a wheelchair. You know, people people do give sympathy some, points. Yes, yeah, I, I was going I was gonna say sympathy points, but I was gonna try to <laughs> be, be nicer about it. But but I don't think they give sympathy creativity. points in cheer or dance. They don't give them sympathy points. Some mm-hmm. babies, some folks don't care. Them grown women don't care about no sympathy. But if yes. she can, if she's precise with her arm movements and. And how she moves the wheelchair around. I'm done. I'm <laughs> I mean, done. you get points for that. You get points for that. I mean, hey. she, as long as she's doing what she's supposed to do. But, you know, she, she's limited in, in some of the things. You know. She might look like crazy legs on uh, Don't Be a Minister. Oh, stop. Oh, stop gosh. it. Right, he was coming. Hammer, right? Wasn't he Hammer? <laughs> <laughs> he was doing MC Hammer. Come on, man. Oh, from the Xavier Fox show. That was Malcolm from the Xavier Fox show. We're going to take that out of the post edit. We're going to take it out of the post edit. You're going to have to take that out, please. That, my, that was Malcolm saying it. Mouse <laughs> it on the was Xavier Mouse. Fox. Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you got to look. We have, we have two people who are actively involved in this. Michelle, she's a, a cheer mom for, for little Leah, for baby girl. And, and, and Shannon, I know Shannon is a is a dance mom in charge of the little dance group. And they're just, and both of them said, it's no such thing as sympathy points. Stacey Nelson just told us that they place first. The girl now, that's B-team. The, the, that's the B-team squad. We're talking about, I'm talking about varsity. She ain't even on but the But it team. says Lauren and her B-team. I know you can read and comprehend. Yeah. That means that team. So yeah. she actually played first. That's the invitational. That's not the state championship. That's what I'm talking about the championship. That's the, the little shit they in, the, the spring valley but invitational. The, but the event that was in question was that event, no? Well, no, it's, it's the entire thing. It's the entire competitive yeah. cheer thing. Just not that, just not that uh, thing. So in order for them to make it to the state championship and compete for a state championship, you can't compete with her in the wheelchair. She's going to hold them back. She so holds them back. All I'm saying is if the coach was created. They place first. We, we, we talking about, we talking about the young lady with the disability. Was she able to cheer with them? Yes. yes. Yeah. So she got creative. So the, we, we talking about this first. for nothing. Yes, because slides and turns. Well, okay. Somebody just said if you step off the mat, you lose points or you disqualify. She can't even step off the mat. She had to roll off the mat. What if a break comes? I'm about to say she can't step off. What if a break comes? She did good. Like she rolled off the mat. Somebody made a big mm-hmm. issue out of this for no reason. They won. Well, her, the coach got creative like she should have done in the first place. Mm-hmm. You let the little baby be on the chair team. So, they, so they want a somebody, competition. Somebody actually made the comment earlier, and it may have been Michelle that talked about that. That's why some schools have two different squads. They have a game squad and they have a competition, competition. squad. Yeah, but it's I don't. Not- I don't know if that's the case with this school. So if it's not, then you can't all of a sudden create something just for this. Now moving forward, they may decide they want to have two different cheer squads, and this may be the catalyst for that. But until then, this is what you got, and this is what we're gonna get. My thing is, my thing is, look, 
if you're on that cheer squad, you need to be able to do everything that everybody on that cheer squad can do. Everybody, it should be a certain set of criteria mm. that you that you need to be able to do. And if she can do it, she can be on it. Now let's be honest. Let's look at our cheer squad. Let's let's go back to when we were in high school. Um, <laughs> we had a couple of larger girls on the cheer squad, right? But here's the thing: all those larger girls could do everything the skinny girls could do. Uh, one of them was in my dance class. She could do a full split. She could do the cop. I'm sorry. Wheels. She could do all I'm that sorry. stuff, and she was good enough to do every move that 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 the, the the smaller chicks could do so she earned her right to be on that team so you can't take away her right to oh, be on man. that team nah, I, I wouldn't go that far the, if the wheelchair girl <laughs> couldn't do everything that everybody could do she ain't earned her right to be on the the competition team you know you said you said she was in your dance class yeah y'all had oh, to perform. T, yeah. T don't oh, T, I'm, I'm, oh, yes, I'm a, I'm a classically <laughs> trained dancer. I am a classically trained <laughs> professional dancer. Like we said last week on the show, we I've actually been paid. You know, they people have paid to uh, no, no, I'm, no. I'm a, I mean, yeah. I'm quite sure they needed somebody to be a Oompa Loompa. So I, I believe you. All right, continue. First of all, first of all, first because your man got two left feet. Don't, don't, mm-hmm. don't talk about me. I'll be a dancer. Hey, I'm I ain't never Oompa Loompa dancing. I'm a dancer. Call it what you <laughs> like. Hey, wait, wait, the wait, 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 classically the trained lollipop. dancer. No, but I'm just glad the young. I'm just glad the young lady had a chance to compete and yes. be with her team, and um, they all worked it out. But I see, like uh, Michelle said, they definitely going to address that moving forward. They definitely going to have to, because you can see with her what this B team you said. So that's three more years, and they're not going to keep revisiting. They're going to have to put something in place. But I agree with what y'all said, having two different teams, one for uh, the games or like a pep squad and one for a competition. And I think that'll cut out a lot of that. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they do, though. I'm pretty sure they have a game squad and they probably, well, I mean, I don't know. I say that. You but, don't know. Yeah, You're I don't, just I don't making know. up stuff. All right. All right, well, but I just know, I know what they do, what they do at, at the schools that I see in Atlanta. And, you know, that's the only thing I can judge off right. of. Hey, one thing real quick. Well, you said the, the bigger girls could do everything the other girls could do. Cheerleading is almost like a, like a football team. Everybody got a different Slow down, role. slow down, slow down. They don't, they, everybody has ain't no sport. Everybody has a different role. So you got the base people, and you got the people that toss up in the air. So you need some stronger people down there at the bottom that can hold people up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you need the offensive line as well as you need skill position. Now, with the person on the wheelchair, we we don't know where she fits in in that equation. But I would I wouldn't go as far as saying that everybody on um, every trillion team do got the same skill set type thing. So well, no, they don't have the same different. skill set. They don't have the same skill set. But but you know what I'm saying. But they qualify to be on that team. They bring it. They bring it something to the team. You know, if your only contribution to the team is sitting down and moving your arms back and forth, that ain't really too much of a contribution. You know, well, you can't. You ain't a flyer. You ain't a base. Well, maybe she's not fit for a competition, but to be on the sideline, yeah, she can do the sideline. But I think the problem comes in when you're talking about the tumbling and like they, <laughs> like Michelle and Shannon were saying, the safety issues for the other girls. Yeah, that wheelchair don't don't give way if somebody somebody fall or hit it. Mm-hmm. It's hard, you know. And if she got this, Stacy say she got brittle bones, so it ain't like you could just pick her up and just throw her up in the air. She might break a bone or something. They say she got like like I guess that's like the Mister Glass disease. You remember that show, that movie <laughs> with Mister Glass, he, he, Unbreakable? I think. Yeah, she might have she might have that going on. <laughs> You know, but anyway, man, I, I I do wish the young lady the best, man, but life ain't fair, man. You know, and sometimes when I say stuff, it sound messed up. It sound uh, sly, you being a mean guy, but life ain't fair, man. Everybody ain't meant. 
everybody ain't meant to do what everybody else does. Sometimes you have to take certain paths. You have to cross certain burning sands in order to make it and be a part of certain organizations and to be a part of certain things. And if you hadn't crossed those burning sands to be a part of that organization, you shouldn't be able to walk with those people or wear those people clothes. And I guess that's what kind of leads to our next subject, man. What's going on out there, man? It's big in the news. A substitute teacher went to school and she was cold. She was mm -hmm. sitting in the classroom real cold. And the regular teacher left her AKA jacket in the room. And then the substitute teacher put on the AKA jacket. And some people got mad, took a picture of it and said, hey, you are not a part of Alpha Kappa, Alpha Sorority Incorporated. You need to take this jacket off. Now, is that foul or fair? Now, the reason we brought these two ladies on to show, not only because they're beautiful and smart, we brought them on because they're both members of um of 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 sororities. Sororities. You know, Sean is a member of Delta Set Delta Sigma Theta. Um, oh. my mom's sorority. She's a member, she's a DST and T's a member of um, I don't know that other one. Zeta Phi Ooh, baby. baby, what you're not <laughs> going to do. <laughs> oh, God. Nah. Is that? But T's a member of, of Zeta Phi Beta. You know, now how do y'all feel <laughs> about how do y'all feel about other people wearing your colors and wearing, you know, who don't belong? You remember when Bootsy got in trouble last year for wearing a, a sweater? It was, it was a cap. The cap. He thought it looked good. He said, wore it because it looked good. So how so how, how y'all feel about our other people wearing y'all stuff? A lot of y'all aren't educated. How about that? We're gonna start there. Yeah, come on, T. Come on, T. First of all, she was wrong for putting on her clothes, regardless. Yeah, that, I got a bigger problem with that, too. You're right. Why, as a substitute teacher, you were given <laughs> the gall to put on somebody else's clothes. That's a T. The, <laughs> the unmitigated gall. <laughs> and then you, these babies telling you, you don't suppose to have that on, and you just being disrespectful off rip. And gonna keep on this lady, nice jacket, nice lady. Mm -hmm. I would never invite her back to substitute my dog if I had one. You don't but, do that. We earn but that's what we the, have. T, that's the caucasity of it, though. Let's <laughs> the get there. Oh. <laughs> hey, the, the teacher name was Karen. Did y'all know that? No. Are we shocked? I'm not surprised. <laughs> nah, <I'm not. laughs> I'm not surprised. Like, why are you putting on this lady? The, the baby's telling you to take off her clothes. I love the, the fact the, that the, the students it. roll for their teacher. Uh-uh. And then send her the picture. Look what this woman doing. Look at how right. she lost her mind. So, but, but, now, but now this is now something else that comes up, though. You have a grown woman making this mistake. Now let's uh, fast forward to another issue in the news. You had a young child. They didn't say her name, but they said it was a, a elementary schooler. Her mom went to the Goodwill and and found a AKA. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. She went to a thrift store. It is. It, 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 <laughs> I'm um, You're right. I'm sorry. Keep going. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she me. went to she went to the um the the thrift store and found a, a AKA shirt. And because it was pink and green, the the young kid, the young girl liked the colors pink and green. So she wore an AKA shirt. And now one of her elementary school teacher was a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha and Sorority Incorporated. And she went and sent the girl to the bathroom and gave the little girl another shirt and said, you taking off my shirt. Now, was that teacher wrong or was that teacher wrong? So first of all, the problem, T, stop it. The problem is that a member of that organization gave her clothes to the Goodwill. Mm. So we'll start with that. That you don't do that. You do not discard your paraphernalia to the Goodwill. Hmm. You don't. You find a chapter and you give it back to them. You don't throw you don't give away or throw away your stuff. You give Correct. it back to the chapter. Correct. Or maybe you burn it. Maybe you do a bonfire or something, but you do not give it away to the less fortunate. So that's where that was mistake number one. Somebody giving their stuff away to the goodwill. 
Now, mm. I've never I've never been a teacher. I never worked in the public school system, but I would imagine the they don't pay enough. Teacher, well, they don't. I, I don't have to imagine that. I know that. But I would imagine that the teacher would place a phone call to the mother and say, "Hey, Miss Smith, I understand that you brought your daughter to school in this shirt. Well, let me tell you why she I don't think she should be wearing this shirt. And she also gave the little girl another shirt. So I'm going to take this shirt from you, but I'm going to give you something else. Uh, I don't have any problem with her taking the shirt off the little girl and giving her something else. But I would have called the mom first and said, Miss Smith, this ain't cool. And let me tell you why. Hey, I'm not calling the mama. I called the mama after I changed the shirt. I'm sorry. I, I understand well, you like pink and green, but we're going to go ahead and change these, baby, because these letters don't belong to you. The AKA is taking a little hit. First, they had the Carly Wills Russell girl. <laughs> now they got the substitute so teacher. Here she go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here she go. You better. All right, all right. <laughs> Come on now. You got to watch. You got to watch that AKA bashing, man. You know. Uh -huh. We are rated, we are the podcast that is preferred by seven out of eight members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. We are the their preferred, preferred podcast. And I'm just saying, as D9 orgs, we do need to do better with our letters and Absolutely. not discard of them to goodwill or charities or just letting them stay in dorm rooms because I know it's an incident that happened. Um, at TSU with some of our little members. The baby just decided she was just going to give away paraphernalia. Just free. And she just left. She had a mental breakdown. We just need to do better with our letter. Oh. Hey, so so the, the big thing is, all right, this girl is an elementary school student, right? So she had no idea about these letters or None. anything that it had that went along with it. And, mm -hmm. the, and the teacher took her clothes off and gave her another shirt. Is is that the right thing to do? Okay, I, I, I understand that the sororities, fraternities, that's that's big deal. That's a big deal to everybody. But to do that to a little kid, I can see if it was a grown up or somebody who knows anything about sororities. But a little kid, I mean, they do have a case to say that, that that was wrongdoing. So it's, mm -hmm. it's all about an opinion now. It's, it's a 50-50 it's a opinion. Absolutely. For the school board and all this stuff as far as how this is going to play out. Yeah. Because see, my if my son come there with purple and gold or whatever, or whatever, he wears school uniforms first off. But don't put your hands on my child talking about changing, changing his shirt. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to be good well, when it comes Ooh, I, That's why I, I, I said she she probably should have called the parent and explained the situation and said, here's here's what's going on. That ain't bullying Ryan Metz. Oh, people kill me. Oh, I'm bullying I, around. Get out of here. All I know is I, I get I get it. I'm not I, I I'm not in a uh in a fraternity or nothing. Never have been. But a child, I get it if it's an adult, but a child is where I draw the line. Well, yeah, kind of said it right. Call the mama and explain to the mama. Can I can I get you to come up here? And we need to talk about some things. Because but you gotta, don't need to go back home with that shirt. But you got <laughs> to go back home with that shirt. <laughs> you got to look at it. You, you need to bring another shirt up here. <laughs> see, you got to look at it from this point of view. Also, now we're talking about just the shirt. She got the shirt from the Goodwill. So you know, and this is all assumptions. <laughs> this is all assumptions. Um, she may not have been wealthy enough, you know, to, to have new clothes. If you shop, it's two people who shop at Goodwill. You shop at Goodwill if you really, really poor, or if you one of them smart thrifters who like to go and get really, really good deals. You like to get good deals. Those kind of the the two people who shop at good, Goodwill because you can find some great stuff, you know. Um, you know, shopping out of Goodwill. You can find, I guess, some somebody might have <laughs> threw away a, a coach purse or some shit like that. I don't know. And you find it out of Goodwill. But but so you have to look. Now, that girl might have been her only pink shirt. You know what I'm saying? She liked the little kid, liked the color pink. And then they sent her home in a brown shirt. You know, she don't like brown. 
And then well, how, they, how they, about they the embarrassment for the child? How about the embarrassment for that child? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you embarrassed the child. And look at that. Leon say, he, I, ain't, I ain't got time for all that. I got class to teach. Yeah. <laughs> Leon ain't AK either. Leon, Leon. He, he, light enough to, he light enough to be one, though. Yeah, he is light enough to be AK. <laughs> And he got he got small delicate legs too. <laughs> Shauna, Shauna said he likes small shirts anyway, so he probably and, and and small. Oh, we need to send him a pink and green shirt. That's what it sound like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, last time I seen him drink, he did have a pinky up, man. <laughs> Chits drank with his pinky up. I mean that is kind of sensitive in, in, um, for the young lady, and like I said, as members of the D nine, we do need to take care of our paraphernalia. paraphernalia. Absolutely. Yeah, like I say, where it starts off is they shouldn't have put it in the goodwill in the first place, right? That's true. No, that's what that's what that's what I said, Chance. <laughs> I, I said like y'all said. Oh, okay, I thought you, you said like. I said. <laughs> <laughs> You be what y'all be waiting to get on me. <laughs> now let's look at what Shannon says. Shannon says, I'm not in a sorority, but I would rather see them in a shirt like that than come dirty. I have seen plenty that would love that pink and green and not even realize they would be happy for any clean shirt. That's to me, to me that, that. that's the point. To me, that that means more to me than your colors. And once again, I didn't pledge, so I don't have the affinity. So we just, I don't have we'll, the just leave, we'll just leave it right there. Then. That, that you three you'll have. never be on that side of the of the, yeah, of the yeah, argument. You know, so just leave it right there. I don't. We good. You, you, you know, I don't, and I understand, and I understand why y'all, you know, feel the way you feel about your sorority and your fraternity, but. Because I didn't do that. I that that wasn't my thing. So I I do I do for the child. And, th and this is for the child, not for the adult. The adult should have known better. First of all, the adult, you ain't supposed to be wearing. I don't want nobody oh, wearing my care. clothes. I don't want nobody <laughs> wearing my clothes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, what type of lice or bed bugs she got trying to put my you know <laughs> and, and put my stuff on. But for the child who wore that shirt just because she likes the colors pink. Ryan, yes, we are in a game. We are. We are we are <laughs> educated game. We yeah, are. Game we do community service in the game. I don't know no, no Delta, Zeta, AK that done robbed out <laughs> of somebody, but we show serve the community. Hey, that is a I, community game. Hey, look at they are they they are some I know some some of the <laughs> other mm. side of divine nine. Who done robbed some people the, the fraternity side? I don't know about the. <laughs> I ain't speaking for that. I'm speaking oh, as a whole. I can't as speak. Please, we let's, let's let's have a good segue. How about that? This might I be time. <laughs> good I can't segue. Speak for the ladies, but I know, you know, they got some other issues going on. Man, you know, AKA <laughs> usually in the news for some 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 bad stuff. Natasha Jones, she says scholarship, public service. Yep, real gangster. Right, gangster. Natasha, well, are, we gonna, are we gonna talk gang, about gang. Jada? Are we gonna talk about Jada Pinkett Smith being an honorary AKA or not? Nah? Oh, oh wow, she's an honorary it, AKA. It, 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 oh my bad. It, <laughs> my bad. How? Wow. Wow. I ain't even gonna bring up the prostitution ring with the AKA. So uh -uh. the call let's, girl. Let's, let's trans. Let's transition, please. <laughs> yeah. Please. Hey, I, hey, I hey, Stacy is right. Up. Stacey say we about to have. Two out of eight AKAs liking the show. Stacy, about to. What's <laughs> well, uh, going on in Pakistan? You're on the show, Sean. <laughs> we do have, we have that, uh, that Greek life in Pakistan covered. They, they take us in there. <laughs> Wait, if it ain't with two Pakistani mm. listeners, the one no, the big age. no, uh, it's uh, not yeah. two. We are, we are the second ranked, second ranked urban podcast in Pakistan. Well, after the show, show her the numbers, man. She I'm got, sure she, got she got it. <laughs> you show him the T. T said two. <laughs> I was at least giving y'all fifty. 
T want T want to hate, man. She want to hate, but pretty soon your husband gonna quit his job just because of the Route Twenty Eight podcast. <laughs> he hey, better man. not. <laughs> oh. Baby. We about pretty soon we about to pay your house off in cash. Look at that podcast. Gonna pay that house blow off up. in cash, baby. Hey, we gotta get we gotta get the right Pakistani. Yes. <laughs> or you might to see another member of the Divine Nine who was in the legal gangster activity. <laughs> cash. Man, don't hate, man. Don't hate. Maybe they'll rub Sly's belly and then get some money. <laughs> the belly. Thank you, man. Shout out. The hate. Oh, oh the hate. brother. The hate. Focus, Sly. Focus, Sly. Focus. The hate. The hate. The hate. The hate. But anyway, man. Anyway. Man, check this out, man. We're getting close. We're getting real close to that time, man. You know, when we get close to the end, man, we love to take a walk. We take a walk down the 90s block. We take a walk down the 90s block. And when we walk down the 90s block, man, we talk about something that went on in the greatest decade of all time, the 1990s. We like to do a little bit of compare and contrast. And this time on the 90s block, we're going to do game shows. We're going to do dating game shows dating game shows which one do you choose we'll start off with the first one was the newlywed game the newlywed game y'all remember that one the next one was the dating game we'll be back in two and two two and two <laughs> the dating game and the last one was blind date y'all remember blind date on uh i think that was mtv right it's mtv one one of them one of them BT, one of them. So which one? Which one you say? The newlywed game, the dating game, or blind date? Which one? T, since you are, I guess we'll start off with you. You say blind date because we had we knew somebody that was on blind date, one of oh, our wow. church members. Yeah. Wow. And that was James. One of your church members. Yeah, James. Uh -huh. He was on blind date. Did it work out for him? No, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, was that a Memphis church member or Arkansas church member? Memphis, Memphis. Memphis, okay. Memphis. Yeah, with the Memphis, <laughs> University of Memphis with us. Shout out, James. That ain't working Wait out. a minute. You just said to me. Oh, you man. Slick James, more, slick James. There's <laughs> more than one James at Memphis. Yeah, there's more than one James at Memphis. <laughs> wow. Hell Day, that's what it was called. Not Blind Day, Hell Day. You right, Stacey? Hell it was called Day. Hell Day. But yeah, Blind Date was also yeah, a right. show, though. Yeah, Hell Blind Date was the one. But he was Blind... on Hell Date. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's what it was. Okay. All right. Like, what about flip, you, C. Flip Blind Date. Flip Blind, Blind Date and put it back to make Hell Date the other one. Okay. We'll get that, we'll get that in the post date. <laughs> but now, <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll go, talk to the producer. I go, Social media I go, crew. Oh, come up I, with that. <laughs> I go blind date too. You know, it was, it was pretty funny, man. You know, you got to go. You know, people who ain't never met each other before, and they they try to date up, or, and they had some pretty good storylines. The, the other two, I don't re really remember that much. <laughs> All right, this has been our next episode of Talking Slow with Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What you're not gonna do. Am I next? But you laugh. You said what I'm not gonna do, but you did. What you're laughing. not gonna do. I you wasn't there with Sean laughing. What you're not gonna do. You laugh. You said that was Sean laughing. It's not covers. It's not covers. Which one? Uh, you? uh I'm gonna go uh <laughs> I'm gonna go with um only because of the episode of uh Martin, when they did the yes. spoof of Love Connection. What's the name Love Connection. I feel sorry for the tenements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna oh go God. Love Connection. And we'll what be back in. Name, two name? Two. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, LBZ? Which one you got to say, LBZ? I'm going with old Chuck Willery, man. Mr. Two and Two. Yeah, yeah. Chuck Willery, Chuck Willery. Yeah, me myself though, man. I, I like the newlywed game, man. I like newlywed game because you there's some people who got they got some serious uh 
Like, how did you not know that? We're like, oh shit, somebody might not have made the plane ride back home on the newlywed game or something. You like, you like the drama behind it. Mm-hmm. Newlywed game was, was pretty funny to me. Pretty funny. <laughs> well, check this, man. Check this. It's been another great episode, man. We got ready for these closing shots, man. El Presidente, you got anything to say before we get out of here? Hey, everybody have a good week. Uh, we had a little Friday the 13th. We had a solar eclipse uh, yesterday. I tried I tried to catch it on the phone, but, you know, I, I got bad pictures, but it was a pretty cool sight to see, for sure. That's all. Uh, all right. about that Friday the 13th. LBZ, LBZ, you got anything to say before we get out of here, LBZ? Man, I just want to say to everybody out there going through something right now, be tough in your situation. Uh, tough times won't last always. Um, just keep going, keep your head up, and know that there's somebody out here supporting you. So just keep going. All right, all right. T Nez, T Nez, you got anything? Thank y'all for having me on. It's been a long time. It's been, been a long, long time. time. Yeah, it's been a long time two, since we had you on. Step, step, step two. <laughs> Everybody that thinks that Greeks is a game, we are. We are a community oriented <laughs> game. And y'all Greeks out here giving y'all stuff away. Do better. Local chapter. I like better. shaking that over there. That's like laying your flag <laughs> down in the game. You can't lay your flag take, down. Take, take, it, take it back. <laughs> take it back to your local chapter. We'll, we'll, re, we'll use it. Don't be giving it away. You're yeah, making a mockery of it. Making a mockery, <laughs> and you go, and you gonna get somebody hurt for putting your hands on somebody's kids. So you Travis, better stop before you Travis lose a guy member. <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. God bless you. Good night. S. Dot Commas. S. Dot Commas. You got anything to say before we get out of here? Love on your people. Uh, we just don't know when. We don't know where but that number will get called for everyone so make sure that you let your people know that you love them i actually saw online tonight that one of our teachers from columbia high just passed away uh i won't i won't put it out there yet because i don't know if it's public knowledge but just make sure you love on your people let your people know that you care about them because you never know when it's the last time y'all be good appreciate y'all yes man Man, check this out, man. It has been another great episode. Another great episode of the RIP 28 podcast, man. This is a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like, but we keep on talking about them on the RIP 28 podcast. And before we get out of here, I want to leave you with some words (laughs) from a Southwest Atlanta genius. (laughs) <laughs> baby boy you only as funky as your last, as cut. Your last cut focus on the past your ass yes. will be a ass what? <laughs> words from Andre 3000 we'll see you next week on the RIP 28 podcast we holla peace he's out. All right.